Okay, so I'm driving with one hand, filming and using the winch controller, turning my tires, giving it some power and winching it up. Come on, baby. a Traxxas 110 scale TRX4 on monster tires. This is normally a large 110 scale trail truck compared to others, but if you have a look in the background, you'll see a 1 5th scale monster truck. This is from Primal RC, an electric conversion that I've done recently. It was gas when you buy it, it's gas powered. The mega truck, the way it sits now with the winch on board, weighs close to 100 pounds. Believe that, hey? This little truck right here only weighs about 7 pounds. This thing's an absolute beast monster. Here, check it out. Like, are you kidding me? This is an RC. <laughs> Hi, Riley. You gonna come for a walk, girl? Come on, let's go. She's my rotten lab. Half rotty, half lab. So just to recap what I did in the last video, I did a deadlift with my winch to show you that it works incredibly well. As well is I actually changed the shocks so they're positioned slightly different. You'll see that my front has a better approach angle. Hey oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like sinking down 24 inches with every second step. Look at that. So much snow back here. I also removed the sway bar, so I've got a lot of articulation, and you'll see that the weight transfer on this truck is phenomenal. Like the body roll is so cool. Also, people were asking me about my servos. I'm running uh, Reefs RC Beast 2000 waterproof servos in the front for steering. They're running on an independent 3S battery. In total, I've got six batteries on board of this big boy. I know that sounds like craziness, and it is. <laughs> Dog butt. Aha. Uh -huh. There's where I drove across last time and it's not even 12 inches wide now. So it's gotten a lot muckier down here. There's where I fell in last time. Woo! So it's going to be kind of deep, but I think I've built it so we can actually do it. What do you think, Riley? The truck's going to have to go in there nice and slow, hey? Then once she gets in there, she might have to give her. So what you're hearing when it's spinning are those clutch shoes uh, spinning and hitting the clutch bell. <laughs> that is basically the clutch shoes slowing down and closing on the springs. Mega truck. I'm going to give you guys like a different view just so you can kind of see how big this effing truck is. <laughs> like you see what I'm saying? You're scaling on a different level here, my friends. Man, my heart is just pounding. This thing is massive. <laughs> Look at this. Dude, slow motion alert. Come to Papa! <laughs> yeah! It's like the birth of a brand new world of RC. Just large scale trailing. Insane. They're so beautiful. There is a giant pool of water there. 
and I have unlocked differentials. Although I did take that sway bar out, I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get through this. I guess that's why I have a winch though. Oh, can't go through the log. I'll have to work my way around the log. I can't believe that did that. There it is. Get that wheel up. I'm waiting to fall in. I'm waiting for this whole snow peak to break. <laughs> come on, baby, come on. Get in that gear for me. Frontwards, backwards. There we go. Oh, you fucker, you just keep eating the snow cap. Oh, the whole thing is shaking, the ground shakes. Ah! <laughs> One more. Oh, okay, we're winching it. This is exactly why I have the winch. If I didn't winch it now, it'd be a damn shame. Oh, damn, I'm so close. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, I fell in! <laughs> Okay, so easy to explain what's happening. Because I do not have a ladder frame chassis, that bottom portion of the transmission is rubbing right against that log. So I've got no choice but to unspool the winch. And of course, it's right in the middle of the creek. Hey, pup. I can do this, I can do this. Whoa. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's no good, the snatch block is not gonna have enough line. We'll have to use the original block. There we go, now I got enough line. I had to go from there all the way over there. And of course that's longer than 15 feet, which would have been the amount I needed to use for the snatch block, but I think we'll be fine. It was only at that moment that he realized he had forgotten his winch controller. Just get in. <laughs> okay, right now via remote, I'm gonna start bringing in that line so you can see the winch there spinning and it's closed. And it's starting to reel in some of the excess line that I pulled out. You'll see I've got a sleeve on the front that's protecting the actual winch line and the body from coming in contact with each other. Once I get this line nice and tight, then I'll be able to apply some wheel speed to it and get out of here. And we'll see, we're starting to get some tension there. Some people say I've got amazing dedication to what I do. I say it's just a shitload of fun. Okay, so I'm driving with one hand, filming and using the winch controller, turning my tires, giving it some power and winching it up. Come on, baby. Winch action is solid. There we go, up and over. <laughs> well, that was easy. It looks like I hit a lipo cutoff there. Some would say I need a scale driver. I would agree. It comes with a scale driver. It's just the winch itself took up a lot of room in there and I had to cut the driving compartment out. I'm sure eventually in version two, this will be repaired. Dude, sick to have a winch. Why wouldn't you just pick up the 100 pound truck and move it if you wanted? I could, but then why would I be RCing at all? It's for imagination and fun.
Can I bust this whole side off? Does it work? It's super sticky, but I don't want to go in. <laughs> what do you think, Riley? Was that fun? <laughs> what a great day. Another winching opportunity! Okay, stuck on that damn branch. It's the way I was driving, but I wanted to try out the snatch block. I really did. Let's go ahead and get that going. Okay, winch action people. Gonna make sure it's on. Got my driving hand. Oh yeah. Let's get that moving. Let's get that zoom going on. Let's get that driving going on. Come on baby, pull. Pull it. It's bending the tree over. Come on, baby, bite in there. Take a bite. You gotta have some resistance in that tree, man. Come on. Come on. Pull. What a stubborn bastard. There, finally. Holy shit. Let's back it up a bit. Damn! Now it's got its wheel right across the front. At least I got it over that damn uh, uh, log though, right? That's why I'm in this hobby. I could have just picked it up and moved it, but where's the fun in that?